Get ready. Some of you are going to need a safe space after this. <laughs> Today we're going to talk about the Pan America and what a real biker ride it to Sturgis. Good lord, it smells like beer in here. Like, I worked on the bikes a lot last couple days and I may have just been baptizing you know, not to say that I haven't felt like yelling like an exorcist at this bike before doing things that whole, you know, the power of Christ compels you. The power of, I may have been doing that with beer. I don't know when it's, when it's misbehaving. Anyway, I'm sorry, I'm getting off track. Um, so I had an idea this video today because I've had a lot of people say like, I ride a VTX, I ride a whatever. Can I go to Sturgis so people make fun of me? I always say yes immediately, no, but uh, so I was going to talk about how things have changed at rallies and stuff over the years. And then, because I'm terrible at this, I forgot that today was the Pan America launch. And I don't think this is a product review page. I don't think everyone comes to see what does the monkey have to say about the Pan America. Stop. Stop. Uh, because I'm not an expert on most things. But I thought I would talk about it because it kind of ties into it, right? Uh, I was on the field, uh, uh, on the field. I was on the phone with Big Wheel, my brother Big Wheel from up in Tampa, uh, from Wheels Weight Loss. Check his channel out. Um, we're good friends, and we were just BSing about life and bikes and this, that, and the other. And we got on the topic of people who were just, you know, talking smack. I always say like, "Well, that's you're not a real biker," you know that one, that that thing. You're not a real biker. They never say this in person. It's always commenting on a page or, you know, again, back to that high school girl thing where you're not a real biker. I'm a real biker because I, you know, I kind of crap. But so I have notes. Um, so this Pan America thing, right? People are going to freak out. They're going to lose their minds because they're all experts in global business and exporting products and in the, in the manufacturing of motorcycles, right? Aren't we all? Everyone, I know I am. I know you're all out there just going, I know what Harley should do. They should give me a shovel head Springer. That's what they should give me. I want one, but it wouldn't sell well. I am not the expert. Someone out there smarter than me came up with this thing. And I am a professional skeptic. Like for a living, my job is to shoot holes in things. Figuratively, figuratively. Not literally, I'd like to literally. Wouldn't that be fun? What do you do? I shoot things. You know, anyway. Um, and... So I sat there watching that video that was directed by Jason Momoa, which was brilliant because I know that Mrs. Monkey, Mrs. Monkey's at her mom's house today helping her out again. And um, she's going to see this and go, yeah, I know. I know why they use Jason Momoa to do that thing. I'm going to tell you right now. She's probably going to come home and go, I think we should get one of those Pan America things. You know, like it probably, it probably worked. But it was a good video. Like I like the dude. I think he's cool. He's legit. He rides an old knuckle. He, you know, he's, 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 he is what, Son of a... Hang on. Nothing happened. Anyway. Um, and he, I feel like he's legit. He's a good spokesperson. I, I think the guy rides old... Again, he rides nuts. He rides shovels. He builds bikes. You know, he rides a piss out of them. Drinks too much and gets on them. He's, he's one of us. You know, he just... A little, little better looking. Not much. Um, and so... Then it goes into the marketing people, right? And it says, you know, that this is their game, right? That, well, you're late to the game because Harley's for 118 years have been, see how I did the math that fast? How about that? 118 years have been ridden in ruddy, muddy roads because there were no roads, you know, when Harley's first came out. Um, those of us that go to rallies are constantly navigating ruts and if you ride through the Buffalo Chip, you might want to paint America. You all, some of you are out there laughing because it is like just road, no road. Now there's a rut. Oh, mud. Now, like, I mean, you're off roading just to get around that, that campground. So this is not new to them, you know, the, the on road, off road thing. We've been doing this for 118 years, not me personally. So it, it does make sense to come out with a bike that, that is your adventure bike. You're going to go camping with your bike. That's what, that's what bikers did. For many years, they got on their bike, they strapped all their crap on, they went out in the middle of nowhere and they camped with their bike and they lived for the weekend with their brothers and sisters and they drank too much and da 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 And this bike kind of fits that. In a lot of ways, it does. Um, 
I'd love to hear comments on whether you agree that I feel like it's it's the it's the V-Rod motor, right? Maybe tweaked a bit, but it's the 1250 liquid cooled high revving twin, 150 horsepower. I'm sure that's at the crank, not the tire, but 150 horsepower and 90 something pounds of torque out of the out of the package. Sounds like V-Rod numbers to me. Um, and it was a durable motor, so it does kind of fit for that. So is it a V-Rod stuck into this on-road, off-road thing? Maybe. I'll throw a picture up here, a couple of them that I snapped, uh, just so you can see. If you haven't seen the Pan America yet, um, this is their new bike that's going to compete with the BMW GS. Uh, those of you out there with the GS, I'd love to hear what you think about it. I mean, yeah, the GS is kind of the gold standard, right? The KTMs and... Well, the Honda Africa Twin and all these bikes that are made to go anywhere, it's going up against heavy competition, but what do you think? What's your knee-jerk reaction to it? I, the adaptive suspension thing sounds cool. So one of the things it has is, uh, oh, I think it's only on the Special. The Special's 20 grand, the regular is 18. I got that off the site. But I think the Special has the adaptive suspension in addition to other colors. Um, so the adaptive suspension lowers when you come to a stop, which has always been my thing about adventure bikes, right? Like I'm f just short of six foot because God doesn't love me. I'm like 5'11 and a half because I'm a thinner, but and getting shorter every day. But that's the one thing I always said about adventure bikes that I was like, I can't ride that thing. It's 17 feet off the damn ground. Like I, I could never get my leg over it. I have to have a stool that I went around with. There's training wheels or something because I'll fall over. This adaptive suspension lowers when you're at a standstill, and as soon as you take off, the bike builds pressure and raises up. This is it rideable for, you know, silverbacks like myself? I don't know, that might be cool. Sounds like a cool idea. You adventure bike guys, does that mean that you're gonna be footsing with this thing when you're like going low speed and trying to ride, if it's lowering and raising and all this other crap, you know, instead of behaving itself? Is that a problem? I can see where that could be a pain. Maybe when you put it in off-road mode, by the way, it has selective ride modes. Maybe when you put it in off-road mode, it stays up. I don't know, maybe that's how it works. But that'd be cool. Um, so, I do have to say that the problem this bike's gonna have is those of us that love Harley. We are part of the problem. We are. Because they, when a company tries to come out with new products and innovate and create new stuff, like when the V-Rod came out, we just bash the hell out of it. We immediately just go like, oh, it's, this is just crap. It, it doesn't leak oil. It hasn't broken yet. You know, like, it, 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 like we, we want nostalgia so badly that we stop them from coming out with new stuff that you have to look at and go, it's kind of freaking cool. I think the Pan America's cool. Um, would I buy one? I don't think I'm the target market because I still like my big baggers. You know, um, I like cruising and this, that, and the other. The fact that they're coming out with the hot rod bike, the street fighter thing, that's gonna have the same motor. So in a couple months, another thing they sort of tickled, tickled. Um, the other thing they, they tickled was uh, uh, that they're putting that 1250 in some kind of like uh, rocket, man, some kind of like street fighter bike that's gonna have 150 horse at the crank and 94 pounds out of tor you know, torque. and 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 uh which i believe i hope i don't break any hearts out there but i understand the sportsters going away next year i don't have any firm knowledge on this i've just heard and seen it a lot is that 21's the last year of the sportster because if they come out with this bad boy thing later this year um, which will not be the revival by the way there was nothing about the revival in there and if you look at that tank i really don't think either either they're putting an image out there to misdirect us right because the image showed uh, like an ultra classic tank with the the gas door and whatnot they're not putting that on this this street fighter thing i'm sure so either they put that image out image out to screw with us to put us off the the the, the, the center or the revival's a different bike and they didn't even talk about that but this street fighter thing um you wouldn't need the sports tree anymore right because this thing will outrun a, a sportster this new bike that's going to come out will outrun a sports pan america probably outrun a sportster so why would you need a lightweight uh, bike that's not good for touring that goes X speed when something else spanks it for I don't know what kind of money probably more than a sportster because of this guy's 18 grand for a Pan America this new thing's gonna have to be somewhere around there right but those are my thoughts um, and to, to get on the topic that I was gonna do today can I go to Sturgis on my VTX 
Absolutely. You know, when I was a kid, I remember in 1990 we stayed at Glencoe. That I've said a million, I've said that a million times. I apologize. If this is your first video, then there you go. Um, if this is your first video, you better hit subscribe by now, or I'm gonna. Never mind. Um, and I remember that there was a, a dude that partied with the bikers across the road, and this guy was on a, an old Goldwing, old at that time. So this was the, probably an 80s, early 80s Goldwing. And he, he hit it hard with these boys, partied all night, passed out. And kind of like how today we draw certain male body parts on your face when you're passed out, what they did is they took a whole lot of parts off of his motorcycle and hung them from a tree like a mobile. Parts of his fairing and whatnot, front fender, I think. Things that they wouldn't damage to take on and off. They were respectful about it. And they hung it from a tree. So when he woke up in the morning, hung over his hell, his bike was fine and probably even rideable, but there was like... You know, he's looking up at things like hanging from his tree. And then they helped him take it all down and put everything back together. Um, today they get you shot, but back then it was just funny. Um, that was back then. They were screwing with him for riding a Honda. I think those days are gone. We all might talk smack under our breath. I do it, but I do it just for fun. I don't really mean it. Whatever you ride, ride with us. You know, come on. Um, so you can go to Sturgis on anything, as long as you're not in the way. <laughs> If you ride one of those little Yamaha 125s, just don't get in the way. You know, you can be there, just don't be in the way. Um, can you go on a Vespa? No, you gotta draw a line somewhere. Don't you go to Sturgis on a Vespa. We'll have issues then. But yes, you can go on your VTX, you can go on your Honda Rebel, you can go on your whatever you, you can go on your BMW GS. Someone said that specifically, I have a BMW GS, would I be made fun of at Sturgis? Not to your face. <laughs> uh, so no, you can ride a BMW GS to Sturgis. And another person said, um, I'm black. You know, should I go to Sturgis? It's 2021, yeah, man. They're like, everyone, all nationalities, backgrounds, it doesn't matter, you're pink, purple, orange, whatever, it doesn't matter what your thing is, you know, go to Sturgis. Yes, everyone can go to any motorcycle rally, really. I remember in, uh, one of the things I thought was really interesting is that the, the I think it was the Hanoi Vietnam chapter of HOG was at uh, was up at Sturgis in in 18 or 19 I don't remember and they were well organized and had their stuff wired tight and they were riding as a pack and I was impressed and we were sitting there going how cool is that these dudes had come I'm pretty sure they came the farthest you know um but that was cool to see that that the, the the Vietnamese chapter of hog was there which is gutsy right because we kind of had a war with some of the dudes that were there riding probably were in that war so they were the gutsiest riders too but that's my thoughts today. Give the Pan America a chance and at least admire its engineering because it is a pretty interesting motorcycle. Um, I'll probably test ride one of those just out of curiosity. I ain't gonna buy one, but I would, I would test ride one. And I'm really excited for this, this hot rod bike coming out. Um, I don't know when, they didn't say a date. Did they say a date? Someone see a date? So all of my videos are about our community. You know, the Professional Monkey channel is, is, is about us. It's not about me or Mrs. Monkey or whatever. It's about, about us getting together. So comment down below what you think. Um, if you're camera, there you go. Um, if you hate it, tell me why you hate it. But it better be a good reason because I will, I answer comments. So, you know, I'm, 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 I'm looking forward to talk to you all about it. So see what you think. Take care of each other out there. Hope to maybe go for a ride today later if possible. And I might upload that as a quickie. Uh, on tomorrow uh, for tomorrow but take care of each other out there we'll talk soon and uh, be good bye